Hey guys, it's Jake here with eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at, I'm going to show you how to install the eTrailer 4 leaf 3500 pound decrement coated leaf spring. Right off the bat, you're going to notice the biggest difference between these leaf springs and a traditional style leaf spring, and that's going to be the decrement coating. This decrement coating goes through an extensive adhesion test and a salt spray test to ensure long lasting coverage for salt water and other water applications. These leaf springs are going to come in a quantity of one, so however many leaf springs you have on your trailer, you need to pick up that many to replace. We always recommend replacing leaf springs in pairs because if you have one leaf spring that's weak, typically you're going to have another one that's weak or that's going to go out. So go ahead and replace them together. And when you get them in the box, they will have the nylon bushings inserted in the ends. These springs are going to be rated for 3,500 pounds per set at 1,750 pounds per leaf spring. Um, so they're designed for 3,500 pound axles if that's what you have on your trailer. Now a few measurements so you know what you guys are getting. These springs are going to have a from center of eye to center of eye 25 and 1 8 inches. If you're measuring a little wider than that, that's probably because your leaf spring has flattened out a little bit. As far as the thickness or the width of the spring, it's going to be an inch and three quarters. And then the eye itself is going to have a standard 9 16 inch hole. These leaf springs are going to install just like a standard leaf spring. And with that being said, let's go ahead and show you how we did it. To begin the installation, you want to start by jacking up your trailer with a floor jack. And then you'll take jack stands, put them underneath your axles, and then set the trailer down on it so that the weight is on the jack stand. Um, that way, when you go to take all your bolts out, your jack stands is going to be holding your axle. Otherwise, the axle will fall. Um, we have installed the other three of this kit. If you have a tandem axle trailer, you'll need four springs. If you have a single axle trailer, you'll just need a set of two springs. So to get our hardware removed, we're going to use a, um, an Im impact. You can use a, um, a breaker bar if these are, you're having trouble with these. But we'll start with these two on the center shackle and then the one on the front. You'll want to spray a little bit of penetrating oil on your bolts and let it sit for a little bit. This is going to allow it to work into the threads um, and that's going to help you to get them off a little bit easier. Most of the time we recommend replacing these bolts because you may end up ruining them um, by pulling them back off. There are certain bolts that the nut that you put on is designed to tear up the threads on the way in so that it can't back itself off. So depending on your trailer, you may want to pick up a set of a new set of bolts for this insulation. And we could take a, a uh, either a dead blow or a mallet and tap these out. May have to apply a little bit more force. We've got ours pretty well balanced on our jack stands, so they should slide right out. We're gonna leave this bolt in because we found that if we have to cut these U-bolts off, which we most likely will have to, um, this is going to catch our spring so that the spring doesn't fall to the ground. Now you have one of two options when taking these U-bolts off. You can try to take the nuts off the bottom um, we found with this trailer, some of them will come off and some of them do not want to move. So we ended up having to cut two of the sets off. Um, it's a good idea if you're going through this process anyway, pick up some new U-bolts to replace these because chances are you're going to end up ruining the threads or weakening the steel if you create heat by trying to take it off with an impact. So it's just a good idea to throw some new hardware on to match your new springs. We're going to use a cutoff wheel to cut these U-bolts off. Now we can take our hammer and remove our last bolt. This makes it so much easier with this loose because um, with that U-bolt still on there, it puts so much tension on these bolts, it's hard to get them out. There we go. And we can move the leaf spring wherever we need to to slide this bolt out.
Now we're ready to get our new leaf spring in place. Our packaging for these leaf springs um, is quite a bit different from other leaf springs. We package them very well because of that Dacrament coating. We want to make sure that they get safe to you guys without any dents, stings, scratches, or nicks. So we wrap it up in tissue paper. Um, hopefully that process will help to uh, eliminate some of that problem starting off. Uh, because after all, the coating is what's going to make these springs stand out. So to get it in place, we will, you want to first make sure that this side of the leaf spring is above your equalizer, because otherwise, um, if you install this first, you won't be able to get it above it. So start with it above, and then we can take our bolt and slide it in the single eye. And we're essentially gonna reassemble these in the opposite order that we just took them apart. So we can take our new U-bolts. The one thing you wanna check is, you can see here, it's not lining up with the hole in the bottom of our, our axle. So we'll move it over so it lines up flush. Uh, there's a pin on the, bot on the top and bottom of these leaf springs and it needs to go up inside so it seats properly. We'll take our U-bolts, slide it over, be mindful to watch for any brake lines like we have here. Slide one on either side of the axle, like so. And we'll take our new bracket and slide it up on the bottom. And for our hardware that comes in our new U-bolt kit, we'll slide on a lock washer and a nut. Then we can snug these up. You have to look at your kit and they may have a torque setting. We do have a torque setting for these. Um, so we're gonna end up torquing them down. So you don't wanna hit them too hard with an impact, but you do want to be sure to alternate sides anytime you're tightening hardware on a U-bolt. With our leaf spring safely secured, we can take our shackle and our two bolts and slide them back into place. And again, it really does help if you get your trailer nice and balanced because as you saw, they just line right up. If they're not lining up, you can take a second floor jack or take your floor jack since your trailers axles being supported by an axle jack you can take your floor jack and lift up on this or lift up on the uh, equalizer either one whether it's a spring or the equalizer you can move it up and down and it'll help you get these lined up so you can slide them in we can tighten it all back down Once you're finished with that, you can throw your wheel and tire back on and repeat that same process on the rest of the springs that you have to replace on your trailer. But other than that, that's gonna do it for the installation. Well guys, hopefully this video helped you decide whether or not the e-trailer Dacrament leaf spring is the right one for you.